All right, guys, how's it going? So if you watch this morning's briefing, you'll know that there is a promo for the VIP members website today. Uh, they are very rare. I think it's been a few years since I've done a promo for the members website. But the summer's coming up. I think it's going to be exciting when we get a new manager installed, whether it's this man or not. We, we don't know yet. Uh, it's looking that way or it sounds that way. I think it's going to be a good summer. So if you've ever thought about supporting us and, you know, joining the squad on the VIP site, you know what I'm saying? Watch this morning's briefing. The, the link is in the video description on that video. There's 50% off, but it's only for today, right? So uh, I think it might be on Cop Talk on Facebook and Twitter and places like that as well or in the chat. Um, so, yeah, if you want to uh, if you want to uh, support my efforts and, and, and join us, then today's a really good uh, opportunity for you to do that. So um, we're going to be talking about Ruben Amarim. Um, now, these claims came out yesterday, uh, to be honest with you, um, and I read them and I was just like, oh, he's at it again. Uh, Pedro Sepulveda in Portugal. I made a couple of videos about him the last few days. He seems to know everything that's going on. He's the new Ben Jacobs. If you don't know what I'm talking about there, you'd have to watch uh, the uh, the previous uploads. Um, and maybe, maybe he is uh, in the know with this. We know that he's got some things right before, but we also know he's got a lot wrong as well. Um, but... He claimed yesterday, he said, a meeting between Ruben Amarim's agent and LFC is scheduled for this Monday, today, to negotiate the final terms of the Portuguese uh, coach's contract. Sporting are not looking for a new coach yet. Liverpool haven't contacted the Portuguese team yet. So he basically said yesterday that today there'll be a meeting between Amarim's agent and Liverpool Football Club. All right, now whether you want to believe that or not, that's up to you. Um, the reason I mention it to you now, uh, you know, I should have, I could have mentioned it to you yesterday, really, but I read it and was just like, yeah, whatever, mate. But the reason I mention it to you now is I know that those claims have spawned zillions of articles saying the same things, and some of you might not know where the claim originates from. All right, it's all over today. All right, so that's it. There are additional claims from other journalists. Liverpool have already made the first contacts with the representatives of the Ruben Amarim and has all the details to eventually move forward with the deal. A direct interview is expected to happen in April. Uh, also, Sporting CP's Portuguese coach Ruben Amarim is keen to move to Liverpool at the end of the season. Amarim has a 12.8 million release clause at Sporting this summer. Now, I've got to be honest with you. I think a lot of these journals are just chancing, chancing it at the moment. Just a little bit like the, the so-called ITKs. Because I think it's just common sense that this is what's happening with Liverpool at the moment. Not common sense the way you can say, well, it's common sense they're definitely having a meeting on Monday, but we don't know if that's true or not. But it's common sense that all of these things, these what these journalists are saying at the moment, we've already gone over many times before. We know Ruben Amarim's up for it. We had the claims seven days, ten days ago, you know, sources close to Ruben Amarim, which is probably Ruben Amarim himself, saying he would find it very difficult to resist Liverpool Football Club. So obviously he's interested in this uh, opportunity. The agent is, of course, going to be speaking to Liverpool Football Club. Well, there's nothing there, do you know what I mean? I don't see anything. All I see is journalists just going, well, that's got to be happening, just like me and you are doing that. Do you know what I mean? Now, I would love this Pedro Sepulveda or whatever to, to be bang on and accurate, but no one, no one at all that's credible in terms of reporting from the Liverpool side of things is saying anything. So Ornstein and Joyce aren't saying anything yet, but I wouldn't surpri be surprised if they do. Now, however, what I will say to you is this. Let's, Pedro Sepulveda, right, with his claim that Liverpool, uh, his agents are meeting, sorry, let me be specific, agent, not plural, uh, Amarim's agent and Liverpool scheduled to meet today to negotiate final terms of the contract. That could be accurate, right? And you might think, but you've just said that no one's mentioned it at Liverpool. Yeah, but those journalists at Liverpool that are, you know, uh, born again Joyce, for example, and his friendship with whoever, you know, is passing on information from the club there, he might be aware of exactly what... Uh, Pedro Sepulveda is saying, but can't say it because that would offend Liverpool and it wouldn't be helpful to Liverpool, maybe. And I know that a lot of people think journalists just rush everything out that they get. It doesn't work like that. One of the journalists that works for one of the national newspapers in England, right, one, and, and there's variations of it in, 
I think in Ireland and places like that, but let's just say the UK, right? One of the biggest newspapers in the country, one of the journalists that only writes about Liverpool Football Club that you all know, uh, and is part of that, you know, clique of journalists, if you like, uh, although I think they're a little bit different, that one, but I remember them speaking to me years ago and saying, don't, and he explained all this to me, no, there's many things, don't, you know, we get told and we can't run it. You know, because we, friendships and all that. This is why, you know, I've learned stuff over the years, right? And this particular journalist said to me, we can use the Cop Talk website, or, well, he could, to get out the things that he couldn't put his name to in print in that newspaper, in that national newspaper. So the idea, what the friendship was, he would go through me and I could get stuff out on the members' website, for example. But he wouldn't be, you know, the... The, the, the club or whoever was telling him stuff or players or you know, figures at Anfield, whatever they were, wouldn't know where it was coming from. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I used to get quite a bit of stick from that, from the press officer at Liverpool Football Club at the time that had it in for me, I think, really. Some of you will, will know that from back in the day. Uh, because it was like, you know, how, was he, how does he know this kind of thing? You know what I mean? It, that, it was a long time ago. But the point I'm trying to make here is that Journalists are often aware of more that's happening, but can't say it. And I do think, I do think that we will will hear something from Bon again, Joyce again very soon. And I say, yeah, I'm usually right with this, but I'm going to step it up a bit. I think we're going to see Onsen and Joyce both at the same time. That's my little, you know, bit of intuition that I think we're going to see very shortly. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm doing a very good video. I didn't sleep very well last night. It was really hot here last night. I was fucking, I was knackered. I, I was up all night last night. I've hardly slept. I'm not in the best uh, of minds today. Honestly, I'm very, very tired, but I'll be back on form tomorrow. Um, so I'm not, I'm not sure if I've done a very good job. What I'm trying to say to you is, if you've heard claims today that Liverpool are sitting down because sometimes these people don't tell you where the verdict from because they, they want to make it sound like it's come from them. But I'm telling you, that's exactly where it's come from, is that journalist. And he is raising his profile quite a bit at the moment by providing this running commentary that no one can back up, deny or, or whatever, endorse, deny, whatever, you're right? So it's come from him. They've all like retweeted it and put it out there in their own spin on it and stuff like that. Then other journalists are trying to like doing their own variations of the claim by that journalist to make out that they know what's going on. And then you've got different um, publications, even in fucking France of all places, then saying our information suggests, I'm, I don't know if I made a note of that, it was fuck Mercato. Um, no, I don't think I did. And it just spreads and spreads. So I'm just trying to tell you where it's come from, all right? And we don't know if it's true or not at this time, but it's certainly worth considering um, one thing I will say, I don't know, I mean, some of you guys uh, do follow this Pedro Sepulveda, uh, Scott Cheatham, uh, for example, uh, uh, Phil O'Hagan, another one, uh, Hassam. Some of you guys follow him. I, has his profile changed? I, you know, like I'm looking at his his profile here, uh, and it, the bio, there's nothing in the bio, and I'm sure there was before. Can you remember? It's important, if you do know the answer to that, to let me know in the comment section. Uh, yeah, it's important. It's important because I think that people like Ben Jacobs, when Liverpool Football Club was apparently up for sale, you know, made made a name, for, like literally latched onto it and, and put so many things out that because everyone was latching on to his every word. Didn't really turn out to be accurate, but really grew his following and profile, uh, and certainly, you know, received, um, you know, employment opportunities from that, from literally jumping onto something. Nothing wrong with that. But what I say to you, or what I would say to you is, sometimes they can, they know the more they say, the more they can progress. So you've just got to be careful as to, is that really happening, or are you just guessing? I hope I'm explaining it right. Oh, I'm fucking knackered. I'm not knocking that journal. It might be bang on. It might be bang on. All right. But I am suggesting that Born Again Joyce 
and David Ornstein, I think we're going to see something from them soon, all right? But in terms of the timeline with it all, it's common sense that Liverpool is sitting down with agents and especially Ruben Amarim's, you know, contact and discussing things because what date are we on now? We're going to be, well, we're in the second week of April. It's fucking May soon. You know, that season, the football will be wrapped up, their season, our season, fat cup finals and everything. So Liverpool will be closing in on a manager right now. There's no doubt about it. So it's not fucking rocket science, is it? Anyway, I'm off. Uh, please leave me a... I don't know what to... What do I say at this point? Oh, yeah, please thumbs up the video if you appreciate the effort, even though I'm all over the place with it. Please drop me a comment. That's really important because I'd like to know your thoughts. Anything. Has he changed his bio? Adam Naylor will know. Hashtag AKM. Adam knows more. But he thinks he does. Uh, if you want to get me a beer, hit the super thanks. Well, a coffee, please. I don't want to drink. Uh, read the video description, join the newsletter, it's free. Connect with me on social media, read everything in the video description. Uh, and if you do want to join the VIP members website, you can get 50% uh, off on a year uh, if you do that today. Uh, and I think it will be good because it's, it's our home, do you know what I mean? It's like the hub of everything, everything's on there. And it'd just be good to get some, you know, some new blood in there. And we've got the summer and I think it'll be really good this summer, guys. I think we'll have a good, good summer. I hope so anyway. Um, but yeah, it'd be good to get some of you on. And if it helps you, that's great. If it, and it helps me, obviously, because you're supporting me. All right. Uh, I, 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 I think I'll be back in a bit. All right. Uh, it's my boy's uh, day off uh, in America, Smooth, my best friend. So I'm going to go over there now. I'm going to jump on the Xbox for a couple of hours with him. And then I'll be back on. Oh, we've got a stream this afternoon. Right. Yes. Well, I'm live on here at three o'clock this afternoon. So there you go. All right. I hope the video is not too bad. I'm sorry if I've let you down a bit with it. But I'm just a bit tired. All right, guys.